Hey guys and welcome to today's tutorial which is about counter topspin. I've got Guy alongside me once again to help us have a look at the stroke technically and then give you some um, visuals for you to see how it is incorporated inside the game. And another special little bonus, Christmas time is coming therefore I would like People always ask me, what are you using, what are you using? So therefore, not what am I using, I want to give it to you. My blade, this is the Donic Crest blade. It's worth about 180 pounds. I've been using it for the last couple of years. It's time for me to maybe try something different or I will go back to the Crest, but I want to give this to one of you guys as a present from us, the EBAT family, and hopefully you'll enjoy the magic that I've had with it. Okay, so when we're talking about a counter topspin, tip number one, I would suggest to try and get a coach or a friend to take a bucket and chuck loads of balls at you so you can start to hone in on the, on the technique, start to feel the ball, start to change the angles and adapt to finding the solution for a good counter topspin. Also be aware that there's gonna be different types of counter topspin depending on what your opponent has done. Have they given it lots of spin? or not so much spin and you have to adapt. So let's just have a look at it in play over here. Nice. Okay, so the tip number one was for you to practice so you can start to um, adjust and find solutions for different kind of balls. But if you want real technical tips, then here's a few that you must be aware of. Number one is the stroke. So if, guy, if you can get into the position. The stroke is actually shorter than the normal stroke compared to the uh, proper forehand uh, topspin because over here you're actually using the pace of the opponent. You don't need to go massive. Of course, sometimes if you want to try and win a big shot, then yes, you can go massive. But if you want a controlled counter topspin, then you're looking to generate a little kick with the forearm, which uses their pace and it also gives you control over the ball. Tip number two, angle. If the person is giving you lots of spin, what kind of angle? We're looking to try and close the angle. If they're not giving you as much spin, then you're looking to open the angle and that will help you to get the ball on. But you have to be aware of what they're doing. Try and listen to the sound, try and watch their movement. Is it thin? Have they picked up a ball off a backspin, heavy backspin ball? Have they just gone into a normal rally with a normal topspin ball? And then you have to adjust and adapt accordingly. And the last tip I would give you is the way your hand moves. Do you squeeze or do you not? Now, I try and tell my players to try and stay relaxed if it's a clean topspin ball. If there's lots of topspin on the ball, I try and tell my players to squeeze because what might happen is that lots of spin will put a lot of energy on the bat and twist it upwards, which then kick up. So if you squeeze the handle at point of contact, then you can keep the angle closed and get that ball on off a heavy topspin ball. Okay, we're gonna look at it a little bit more in a match realistic scenario. You're gonna serve. The person will return to your forehand. You do an open up to the person's forehand. You can go anywhere on the forehand if you want, and they have to try and incorporate the counter topspin. <laughs> Sorry, it's too lucky. Nice. Try and watch the ball until you hit it. Yeah.
So one more thing that I would say, especially when someone's giving you a lot of heavy topspin is the timing. So you want to take it really early because if someone's put a lot of topspin, especially off a backspin, they've whipped it really heavy. You need to really close the angle. And if you're taking the ball late, it might hit the edge of the bat. And also, the earlier you take it, the less time your opponent's got to receive the ball. Okay, well, I hope all those tips helped you. And as promised, I want to give away my personal blade to you. All you need to do is share the YouTube channel with your, so with your friends on social media and send me a link back so I can see that you've done it. And then whoever has done it and sends me a link back, I will then do a raffle draw and one lucky guy or lady will receive my personal blade as a Christmas gift from the eBat family.